In a previous video, we looked at the estimation of the parameters needed to model a PV module. Uh, we considered an example of a commercial PV module and uh, derived these parameters from its uh, data sheet. Uh, in this video, we will use these parameters to actually model the PV module in uh, MathCAD as well as in uh, Plex simulation and uh, study how well these models match the experimentally obtained IV curves and uh, other details. These are the values that we took from the, the data sheets to estimate the various parameters and um, these, co these correspond to uh, commercial module uh, it's uh, TSM 290, a 290 watts peak um, uh, module from Trina Solar. Uh, and these values are given at the STC, the standard test condition. Uh, so we obtain the open circuit voltage VOC, short circuit current ISC, the uh, voltage and the current at the maximum power point, namely the VMP and the IMP. And we also um, got the number of cells in series, which was uh, 72 uh, cells. So these uh, five values are given directly in the data sheet in some tables, uh, whereas the other two um, values that we need in the uh, parameter extraction, namely the slope of the IV curve at short circuit, uh, and at the open circuit, those were estimated from the IV curve plot. So we use these values to estimate the required uh, uh, parameters in our PV model. So the photon current IPH was uh, same as the short circuit current 8.53 amperes. The shunt resistance or shunt is uh, uh, 1 over the slope of IV curve at short circuits. So it's minus 1 over this value, giving us 402 volts. Then the series distance R is, uh, it depends on the slope of IV curve at open circuit plus another term. Okay. Uh, so in fact, we solved the series distance ideality factor A and the reverse saturation current uh, by solving uh, three nonlinear uh, equations simultaneously. Um, and we explained that in the previous video. And the results that we obtained was a series distance of 0.2 ohms, uh, ideality factor 1.254, and a reverse saturation current of roughly 33 nan nanoamperes. So these uh, correspond to this uh, single diode based uh, PV uh, model. And uh, all of these values, they correspond to the complete module, meaning uh, it corresponds to uh, the 72 cells in series. Okay, these are the experimentally obtained IV curves uh, as given in the data sheet and they correspond to five different values of irradiance levels. So in fact, uh, we use these curves to estimate the slope uh, at the short, short circuit region and at the open circuit region to estimate some of the parameters. Now in this video, we will actually superimpose the IV curves that we obtain analytically or from simulation on top of this experimental curves in order to see, in order to validate our uh, model as well as the uh, our parameter estimation methods. Next, I'm going to open up a MathCAD program and uh, show how to model the uh, PV module using the parameters that we extracted uh, and also show how to obtain the IV curves as well as the PV curves from MathCAD. So here, first we enter the um, values obtained from the data sheet, the short circuit current, VOC, VMP and IMP and NS. Then the uh, two estimated values, the two slopes at the uh, open circuit condition and the short circuit condition the uh, constants Q and K and the operating temperature uh, 25 degrees Celsius which is STC or 298 Kelvin. Then the uh, R shunt is uh, just minus 1 over the DI over DV at SC uh, that came out to be 402 ohms. We saw that in the power point slide. Okay. Then uh, in order to solve the uh, the three simultaneous equations to get R S A and the IO, um, we start with some guess values, some uh, initial values for these three parameters. So some, some nominal values, R is of 0.3 ohms, uh, A which normally varies from 1 to 1.5 is uh, chosen to be 1.2 here. Okay. So once we have uh, chosen some values for A, we can actually get uh, a closed form expression for IO as shown here. And uh, IO corresponding to 1.2, uh, A of 1.2 uh, is this value. So that is given as a, as a guess value, as an initial value. Then the syntax for solving the three nonlinear equations is uh, is shown here. Okay, uh, so we start with the statement given, then write the the three nonlinear equations, 
and then simply say find IO A and RS. So MathKit solves them and uh, the resulting values uh, that uh, uh, makes uh, the values match each of these three equations as close as possible uh, are shown here. Okay, 33, 33 nanoMPS, A of 1.254 and RS of uh, 0.2119. Okay, the values that uh, we saw in the PowerPoint. Then we can use these parameters in our uh, PV model. Uh, in fact, this is the uh, this is our main PV model. So this gives the current expression uh, as a function of the diode voltage VD. So I is uh, the I photon, which is ISC, uh, minus the IO reverse saturation current times exponential diode voltage over the thermal voltage VD minus one, uh, minus the current through the shunt resistance, which is uh, the same diode voltage divided by R shunt. And uh, we sweep the value of uh, the diode voltage from zero up to the open circuit voltage VOC in a fairly fine time steps, 0.001. Okay. Uh, but finally, the uh, uh, we need the model in terms of the terminal voltage, not just the diode voltage. So the terminal voltage V uh, against the function of the diode voltage, because that is what we are actually sweeping. So V is uh, the diode voltage minus the drop across the series resistance which is I times the RS. So VD minus uh, IRS is the external voltage. Okay. And uh, if you want the power curves, then the power is calculated as uh, P as a function of VD is uh, terminal voltage times the terminal current or the external current. Then the resulting IV and the power voltage PV curves uh, at the STC uh, is uh, shown here. So the dotted blue is the IV curve and the red is the P versus V curve with the scales uh, on the right hand side 0 to 300. Uh, so we can zoom in near the uh, this open circuit condition and uh, uh, verify that uh, the open circuit voltage is uh, in fact um, whatever was given in the data sheet. Um, similarly we can also zoom in as actually done here uh, near this uh, peak maximum power point that is zoomed in here. And we can actually see that the maximum power is uh, roughly 290.9 watts. The actual values, value given in the data sheet, which is um, uh, obtained by taking the product of VMP and IMP, came out to be 290.2. So we are uh, very close to that value. Okay. Um, and also, uh, if you look back at the, um, um, the maximum power point voltage as given in the data sheet, it was, um, I think it was 36.7 something. Uh, or maybe it is 36.1 I think and what we get here is uh, 36.74 okay. so uh, reasonably close and we can also do some more checks uh, to see whether our uh, model matches well with the data sheet values and those checks are again the slopes of the IV curve um, obtained from from this analytical model so the first one is the dv over di under open circuit condition that is obtained by this uh, uh, this expression it comes out to be minus 0.487 from the analytical curve and uh, it matches uh, almost exactly to the value that we got uh, from the data sheet okay. similarly the di over dv at short circuit condition came out to be this value uh, which is uh, also close to what we uh, let me just go back and check this value uh, this is minus 2.4, 10 to the minus 3, and the value obtained from the data sheet uh, is shown here. Okay, so it's also uh, almost uh, the same. Then I mentioned that one of our objectives in this validation exercise is to actually get the IV curves from the uh, analytical model and try to superimpose that with the experimentally obtained IV curves and see how well they match. Uh, since the experimental curves were given for five different irradiance levels from 1000 to 200 watts per square meter, we are going to do the same thing in our analytical model as well. So I sweep this parameter called IRR, uh, referring to irradiance level from 1000 down to 200. And for each of these values of IRR, I plot the uh, IV curves. Okay? And those are shown uh, here. Um, if I click on this, you can see the X and Y axis scales. So the x-axis is uh, the terminal voltage V, uh, which is a function of the diode voltage as well as the irradiance. So the first one is corresponding to 1000 watts per square meter, then 800 and so on. Okay, um, And uh, uh, on the y-axis, I have the, the currents for each of the five different irradiance levels. 
Then I copy this plot and take it to the PowerPoint where I will superimpose this on the uh, experimental IV curves.